gonna tell you why Beamer Ball is coming to Oklahoma and all that's coming up after the bumper. What do you mean oh. you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. What's up, kid folk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. If this is your first time here, consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time. All right, so Beamer Ball is coming to Oklahoma. We know this, not just because, well, actually just because Shane Beamer's here. So we get to call it Beamer Ball, even though it's not Frank Beamer. It's his son, and his son knows how to coach special teams. It's one of the things that he loves, one of the things that he's good at. And Jay Boware, Oklahoma's special teams coach, is excited to have him on staff, and he made a point of saying, yes, bringing Shane Beamer on to help us, to help me, was a great decision by Lincoln, and special teams has been a point of emphasis for the Sooners all during spring ball. As a matter of fact, he said that in a Tulsa World story. We put a lot of emphasis on it. There's been a lot more meeting times for us, walkthroughs, things that we can do to try to be better in that area. Coach Riley's done a great job this spring of giving me and Coach Beamer time to go out there and lay the foundation for a productive fall to be much better than it was last year because that was crap. And I take the ownership in all of that but at the same time, we've just got to do a better job from top to bottom. Amen! See, that is a man taking responsibility for his unit underperforming and saying, I'm going to make it right. I'm going to make it better. Thank you for getting me help. Because the goal is to put an outstanding special teams unit on the field. The goal is not to just save your job and say the players aren't doing theirs. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, Mike Stoops. What I think is really cool about this is Bowler is a huge fan of Frank Beamer, Beamer Ball, and Shane Beamer, Oklahoma's 10th assistant. Also, assistant head coach of offense, but, you know, names and monikers and whatever they mean. Yes, we know that Coach Beamer is responsible for the H-backs and tight ends, but special teams, man. Jay Bowler again. I actually kind of idolized his dad from back in the day. I used to use one of his sayings. I talked about that when he first introduced his punt return scheme. I was like, oh, you're not calling it pride and joy? It's awesome having another Another guy in there that understands the things that obviously I have to go through and really just taking the workload off of me. It's been a tremendous blessing for me. I spent countless hours, the expansion of Dimitri Flowers' package and then the tailbacks and then all four special teams. I had a lot on my plate. I used to often say, hey, I've got two jobs. And now he does it. Now he splits the workload, not just with another set of hands, but another set of extremely capable hands. So yes. Special teams was kind of the suck last year, but Jay Bowler knows that, Shane Beamer knows that, Lincoln Riley knows that, and everybody's trying to do what they can to fix it. Now, as far as specialists go, I think C.D. Lamb is going to reprise his role as a punt returner. Maybe Hollywood Brown gets a few more opportunities to return some punts, but at kickoff return, I think we're going to look at a Marcellia Sutton and possibly a Hollywood Brown, depending on what we see from the running backs. But what we do know is that whoever's back there is Friggin' fast, man. Jeff Bidette dropped a 4-2-40, and that was partly his job was returning kicks. So I'm excited to see what the special teams looks like come fall, and I expect it to be a strength of the 2018 Sooners. That's it for me. Deuces. <laughs>